Patriots Giants Super Bowl 46. Oh, I can't wait. It's gonna be great. The show popcorn ready is gonna be huge game. It's gonna be a great game this weekend, guys. And it's not gonna be a blowout. Nope, it's gonna be close to the oh, right. It's gonna be right down to the wire. Defense strong. Let's go. Hello, folks. It's Shaylee here. We're gonna give you all the info you need to know about Super Bowl 46. Hi everyone, I'm Lee Pitts, and next to me is my brother Shay Pitts, and this is your Pitbull Report. The Super Bowl is near, and our goal is to get you guys ready. As you probably know, Tom Brady and the Patriots, representing the AFC, are taking on Eli Manning and the Giants, representing the NFC. This is a rematch of the 08 Super Bowl, in which the Patriots were upset at 14-17, losing their perfect season. The Patriots will look to strike revenge. Alrighty, enough about the past, now let's start the breaking news about this year's game. The Patriots finished the regular season 13-3, and in the Giants... 9-7? You might say, well, heck, a 9-7 record versus yeah. a 13-3 record, it's going to be a blow. Death. Part of the statement could be true, but the, but the Giants are on a hot streak, so let's see how this one works out. After losing to the Redskins Week 15, 10-23, they won their last 5, 10-23, that's a bad loss, to the Redskins. Except for the game they just played against the 49ers, to pretty much have blown every team out. The ratio of points scored against the points scored in the playoffs is 141 scored to 67 points against. That's so high. In the playoffs, Eli has been doing his thing, throwing for nearly 1,000 yards in the three playoff games he's played. And don't forget about those receivers, Victor Cruz, Hakeem Nix, and Mario Manningham. Ha! My boys. No one has been able to stop them all season, and pretty much in all playoffs, too. Victor Cruz and Hakeem Nix alone combined for 579 alone. yards in the playoffs. In just the playoffs? That's just the playoffs. Interesting story about Victor Cruz is he was pretty much nothing his whole career up until this year. His breakout game that started his amazing season was week three against the Philadelphia Eagles, where he got three passes for 110 yards. That's like, like 30 yards, 40 yards a catch. It's ridiculous. Including two touchdowns, which was more than he had in his whole career before. Victor Cruz also finished the year third in receiving with, with 1,536 yards and nine touchdowns. These receivers will be key factors against New England's horrendous defense. Huh, we'll let you about that later. Ahmad Bradshaw and Brandon Jacobs have been, well, so-so all year, combined for just over 1,000 yards during the regular season. Hey, but you never know what's going to happen in the playoffs, yet alone the Super Bowl. New York's O-line has really come together in the past couple weeks and has been decently healthy. Throughout the season, Tom Coughlin and New York's offense is getting a lot of criticism, especially during their four-game losing streak, but they fought strong and they're in a great position that they are in now. Their defense is the same kind of thing. They struggled a little bit throughout the season, but didn't do necessarily bad. They finished the regular season 27th in total yards given up, but in the past couple weeks, they've turned it up a notch. Perry Fuel, Giants defense coordinator, has been on the hot seat a little bit throughout the season, but he got his team together and will most likely keep his job next year. Most likely. He's definitely keeping that thing. Yeah. In the playoffs, Giants' rush defense has been solid, allowing only 120 yards a game, ranking 6th from middle pack. Okay. Pass defense has been good in the playoffs as well, ranking 4th. But during the regular season, they finished 29th in pass defense and 19th in rush offense. Regular season and playoffs, their D-line has always been good with Justin Tuck, Chris Canty, Jason Pierre-Paul, Pierre -Paul. and O.C.O. Minora getting stops in the backfield and recording well, Don't forget about Pierre-Paul blocking those punts. Ah, uh -huh, Cowboys know what I'm talking about. Their linebackers have been pretty solid. Chase Blackburn has really stepped it up along with the rest of the team the past couple weeks. Mark Helch has been getting his playing time in too. There's a great story behind Mark Helch. On May 14, 2009, he was diagnosed with a type of bone cancer. He was told he might never be able to walk again, let alone play football. That night when he was told that, he was furious. He looked himself in the mirror and said, I'm going to beat this. After going through two years of radiation and physical therapy and more, he received a phone call that he had beat the cancer and was picked up by the New York Giants. Now, what is he in? He's in the Super Bowl. That's a great story. You guys should read more about that. Yeah. Okay, now let's go to the Patriots now. This is the Patriots' four Super Bowl appearance in the past decade, and all of them with Tom Brady. They've won all but one in these four years. Tom Brady has been consistent all year, throwing for 5,234 yards, and 35 yards, excuse me, second in the NFL behind Drew Brees. Drew Brees. Tom Brady d did have some help, though, getting the ball to Wes Welker, Rob Gronkowski, Aaron Hernandez, and Deion Branch. But if Brady plays the way he did last week against the Ravens, it's going to be a tough one. Guys, game. he didn't even throw a touchdown last week. Dude, like, that's like the, one of his few times him, in his playoff hard. career that he never threw a touchdown. Wes Welker has 1,569 receiving yards, 
on the year and is second in the NFL. Gronikowski has 1,327 receiving yards with 17 touchdowns, breaking six in the league for receiving yards. And he, guess what he is? He's, He's a, a tight, tight end. end. He has more res um, receiving yards than most receivers. Kenny Woodhead and Ben Jarvis Green Ellis are kind of like Ahmad Bradshaw Brad and Brandon Jacobs. Well, stat-wise at least. Good backs, but haven't really been able to do that much this season. But the O-line has been good during the playoffs, has been good during the regular season, and has been good for the past five years. All right, let's get the Pats' defense predictions, and then we should wrap this thing up. Sounds good. The Patriots' defense finished 31st in the NFL, which is second to last. Reasons for this cause is they haven't been able to stop the Pats, ranking 31st in that category, too. But in the playoffs, they have been able to tighten things up, holding Tim Tebow in the Broncos to 10 points, and the dangerous Ravens to only 17. Those were some hot Broncos, too, coming into <laughs> that game. Tim Tebow. Ah. <laughs> uh, everyone's doing that now. It's ridiculous. This year in the playoffs, they, they, though, this year in the playoffs, though, they ranked fourth in the total defense. Player, players like cornerback Kyle Arrington have to step up on the defensive side if they want to stop Eli's offense. Hey, Eli better watch off. Kyle Arrington has seven picks leading the NFL. That's, that's, that's insane. Not insane, but it's pretty good. <laughs> Bill Belichick will most certainly have his team ready to get his fourth Super Bowl ring as a Patriot, as head coach. Now, Lee, give you Super Bowl favor and tell us why. I say sorry for the pause there. <sighs> hmm. Well, I'm going to have to go with the Patriots because they have more experience than the Giants and they've been there more times. Tom Brady will be ready and he'll make the rest of the team ready as well. Even though they don't have a good defense, their offense will bring the defense intensity and motivation up. And scoring is going to be about, hmm, no. Patriots, no. 24. no. Giants no, twice. No. It's going to be a close game. Yes, it is. I have to disagree with you there. <laughs> they will be prepared in all the... They will be prepared in, in all, but the Giants are more well-rounded. They, they are just more athletic on every side of the ball. But how do you know the Patriots' defense isn't going to step it up in the Super Bowl? I mean, it's the Super Bowl. Crazier things have happened. Mm. Well, Lee, come on. Giants have just way more athletes on defense and good enough athletes on offense. So there's no way the Patriots are going to be able to win. But Che, I mean, before the 08 Super Bowl, no one even knew who David Tyree was. Sure. And he made that unbelievable catch, and it's going to go sure. down in history. And, like, he'll never be forgot. Yeah. So you're kind of saying that the same thing might happen with the New England defense. Like, they might step up and make unbelievable plays, and then they'll be remembered as that. Exactly. Well, I think the Giants are still the better team. And the final score will be, um, got to go with Giants 23. No. Uh, Lee, Giants 23, and... Patriots 17. That's ridiculous. That's not going to happen. The, the Giants are going to, I mean, the Patriots are going to clean them up. Yeah. You, you All know, right. Well, I guess this wraps up the Super Bowl preview on your, your pit bull report. Thank you. It's going to have, it's going to be a great it's game. It's going to be a Giants. It's gonna be, no, it's going to be Patriots. Definitely the Giants. We'll see. We'll find out. Have a good day.